Former Portland Mayor Bud Clark died today. He was 90 years old. Clark served two terms as Portland's mayor, drawing international fame along the way. Catherine Cook is here with a look at his legacy. Catherine. Well, Laurel, I remember being in grade school and being so excited to sit in Bud Clark's chair. It was during a field trip to City Hall. Back then, even little kids knew he was someone special. The people he served always knew he was a citizen first, an unlikely candidate who would raise the bar for everyone else. There, there he is, Tim. He, he is the mayor now. Are you ready to accept victory and declare yourself the winner of the race? Yes, I am, absolutely. It was one of the greatest political upsets in Oregon history and the beginning of Bud Clark's Portland, a city he served as mayor from 1985 to 1992. Clark had no political background. He was the barkeep who biked to work. His ascension to mayor began as a challenge to beat the unchallenged incumbent, Frank Ivancy. Clark's former press secretary, Jack McGowan. Bud slammed his face, his, his, his fist down on the, uh, on the Christmas table dinner and said, damn it, if nobody's going to run, I'm going to run. How are you doing, Bud? Last May, in what would be his final interview with KGW, Clark recalled the moment he knew he'd won, a full week before the election. There was a parade in St. John's. The uh, former mayor was in the front of the parade and I was in the back of the parade and they weren't... Uh, giving the, the very good greetings to the mayor in the front of the parade and they were cheering me in the back and that's when he first realized he was in trouble. Would you welcome Bud Clark? The win put Clark and Portland in the spotlight. But as so, mayor, you've got to run a city. I mean, what? Well, what I mean, you, I'm I mean, taking a course in public administration and uh, from Portland State College. You're taking College. a course now? You darn right. McGowan says Clark would make time for everyone from the citizens he served to celebrities. I remember that Pete Townsend from The Who came in and wanted to meet with Bud, and Bud just would scratch his head because after work, we'd all sit down on the floor in the mayor's office and, and have a beer, and Bud would take off his shoes and we would discuss city policy because we had a man who believed in himself, who unabashedly loved his city and wanted to make it better, and the ego was never there. During Clark's time as mayor, the city built the Oregon Convention Center and extended the downtown transit mall. He helped the city recover from a recession. He was the people's mayor. Multnomah was... County Chair Deborah Kafori's mother, Gretchen Kafori, served on Portland City Council with Clark. She remembers him for the example he set. He loved Portland so deeply and Portland loved him because of his authenticity, because he was just he was who he was and he didn't feel the need to to try to be anybody else because only clark would think to pose for this iconic photo expose yourself to art clark lived to be 90 years old before passing away february 1st he once told kgw he thought he'd die before his dear wife sigrid whom he lost 22 years ago i've been such a good guy in this life i want to be reincarnated as a crow and just sit up there and bitch all the time, you know, and caw, caw, caw. And she said, can I be Mrs. Crow? And I said, sure you can. So every time I see a crow, I'm throwing a kiss to her and, and uh, uh, thinking about her. Whoop, whoop, see there's Sigrid. <laughs> Here's to a life well lived in the city he loved and served. In Southwest Portland, Catherine Cook, KGW News.